I'm Floyd Robertson. And I'm Earl Cannonbear. And this is the SCTV News Today. 87-year-old Russell Cox of Guernsey, New Mexico, broke a Guinness World Record by playing ragtime piano non-stop for 273 hours. Mr. Cox was then rushed to St. Joseph's Hospital, where he was pronounced dead on arrival. At the same time, 19-year-old Mark Schneider of Mercy, Georgia, completed his 275th hour of non-stop ragtime piano playing, beating by two hours the world record previously held by the late Russell Cox. <laughs> nice try, Russ. Seismologists for the past few weeks have been predicting a gigantic earthquake to strike in California, uh, ripping it apart from the rest of the continental United States. Now, to cover that story, Earl Camembert went down to San Francisco for a film report. Earl? Uh, well, uh, California, of course, Floyd, is a sunny state and a beautiful, beautiful country down there and uh, just a fantastic city of rolling hills. and uh, Great town, huh? Just, just breathtaking. Cable cars and everything? Cable cars, uh, Fisherman's Wharf. Uh, I, I had a great time uh, while I was down there. Well, uh, what did they predict on that quake? Well, uh, the quake uh, is going to... Uh, be a pretty big one? Oh, real big. It's a, it's a what, what you call your big quake. And uh, from what I understand, uh, it's, it's just going to break off from the rest of the country and float on into the Pacific. What did the uh, seismologist say? Well, uh, they, they said that... Uh, I didn't, uh, see, I didn't actually get to talk to the seismologists. Uh, they were quite busy, Floyd, with uh, science meetings and experiments and so forth. They're, they're much too busy to, uh, to talk to. Uh, but I, I did get a lot of uh, gossip. You didn't get an interview, did you? Well, not, not with the seismologists, but uh, I, I tried to interview uh, people on the street and uh, gossip. You flew all the way down there and you didn't get a film report? No, I didn't fly down. What do you mean you didn't fly oh, down? I got a friend of mine was going down there, so uh, I, we just uh, drove down together and, uh, you know, why take a plane? Well, did you get to California? Uh, no, I, di I didn't quite make it to California. Uh, we, we had a bit of car trouble uh, going down there and... Uh, we, we never made it out of Arizona, but uh, Arizona is a beautiful country, too. The, the desert, the uh, iguana. How long were you there? I was in uh, Arizona for about uh, two weeks, and uh, we, we uh, had car trouble. Frank, uh, his car broke down. Uh, we had trouble uh, getting to a garage. There weren't many garages in the desert, and uh, I did manage to interview a few people in the desert uh, concerning the quake, and uh, they, uh, believe it or not, uh, didn't, they didn't know anything about it. Hey, that's a great story, you know. A feature story. You go down there for and you come back with that? I'll tell you what the trouble is, Floyd. They said they give you two weeks to cover a story that takes you 3,000 miles to get down there. I mean, 3,000 miles. Our car broke down in the desert. We couldn't get to a garage. I mean, how did, what do they expect? Well, I would have gone down. I should have. So why didn't you? You're great. You didn't give up money back. Right away, too. All of it. You took a bundle for airfare. <laughs> Big deal. <laughs>